Hello and welcome back to Unreal 1. We are still in the ISV Karn. We are on deck one, and we have successfully slayed the Acidic Amoeba. Yes, which I would not be surprised is a massive blob reference. I don't think so. It might be. I mean, it was those those were acidic creatures. Yes. And acids dissolve. And that's what the blob does. It dissolves people. <laughs> Alright. Now, unfortunately, I have totally screwed up here. What I'm, what you're supposed to do is, while you're in, while you're in the research chamber, you need to. Are we getting shot at? It sounds like we're, we're getting shot at. There, yeah. there are no enemies around. Oh. All right. While you're inside the research chamber, you need to open up the uh, the way into the crew into the crew's quarters. You do this with this button. Which, for some reason, was inside the the amoeba chamber. Yes. However, in order to get out of this room, you need to press the button down there. Do you ever feel like you get so far into these levels, you... you, you there, there's like a path to completion, but you can't remember, like, which step you're on? Or where you came from? Uh... There is one level in particular where that's true, but I didn't have that problem while I was in that level, so... Yeah. It used to happen to me a lot, like, I would get stuck on a level, and not only did I forget, like, what my objective was, I forgot where I came in. <laughs> Don't touch the acid, ow, ow. Ow, Oh, God. You almost became the dead person. Which is why we're loading. Loading is good. Saving is even more important. All right, so we're not actually going. Oh, I guess we are still going down here for the uh, for the. Uh, I'll save your game. And if you fall on the acid. No, that right. was something else that we had to deal with. Use the bridge. You're... Mm, I'm scared to jump over that. Don't be scared. Ah, be prepared. There. Yes, my teeth and ambitions are bad. Be prepared. Still the best song in the Lion King. Yeah. That's a good one. That's a very good one. I know that people really dislike Lion King 2, and to that I say, no, Lion King 2 is awesome. I will say that the Romeo and Juliet uh, plotline is pretty damn terrible, but <laughs> the music pieces in, in Lion King 2 are just that are just so are so good, you know? Yeah, because it's it's a it's a story that takes place in Africa, but then we're using like a white European storyline. <laughs> oh wait, no, that's right. But then Lion, the original Lion King was based was basically Hamlet. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Damn it! There's no escape from Shakespeare. Yeah, there is. Stop making movies out of him. It's very simple. Just don't read his plays, and then they will all be fresh references. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the Lion King too. The Lion King too. Um, when I was a, I, I think I was actually fixated on that movie while I was while I was a kid. It was weird. I don't think I was ever fixated on it. Although I do remember liking Lion King two more than Lion King one. Thing is, I know better than that now. Lion King one is the better movie, certainly. Yeah, it's just. But I still really like Lion King two. It's just because Lion King one is just more classic. You know, everything has a good reason. The characters make uh, not really. Sense. I mean, why is Rafiki absent for most of the freaking movie? Well, that's because Rafiki is the he's the not the foil. He's he's like the he's the guy who's supposed to remind us. Yeah, this is who you are. And I need to tell you. Did you just? You yeah, I loaded just... again. I'm sorry. I, I should have cut that out, but I didn't. But didn't you save at the when you were right next to the acid pool? Uh, no, no, I did not. Ah. Okay. Uh, this is the third time you're gonna pick up the daggers. Uh, the teridium shards. Teridium shards. They're not actual daggers.
I, I would be, I would be less dignified. This is me not doing my job as editor. I apologize. I would be more indignant if we weren't just recording a Sonic 06 part where I also replayed a section of the level that I already did. Yeah, but you didn't do it three times in a row. That is true. Are you sure you want to save here? Uh, because of uh, because of me going uh, all through this so many damn times, we have to open this door like five damn times. Because I'm attempting to get all the stuff that's up there. You know, it's good stuff. You got the jump boots, you got the assault vest. And now you have to kill the scar again. Yep, and this time he dodged the rockets. Bastard. Ah, he's behind you. God, when the gunfire, like, lights up their faces in the dark, like, that is really terrifying. It's like, ah, oh, go away! Ah, ah, I could waste all your ammo. Trying to spam the automatic. God damn firefight. Can't see any damn thing. That's the one that's that has risen the difficulty more than anything else in this game is the darkness. Yep. Damn it! I, I didn't what the Okay. I clearly I clearly should have edited this part significantly better. Minutes. Alright. Minutes, Gerdad. <laughs> damn it, man. <laughs> Jeez. I I did not uh, what was I doing uh, during the editing for this part, man? Take four. <laughs> We've already done this part. I don't need to jump through here again. Uh, okay, ah. I'm going the thing. We've already been through here. <laughs> the thing, they're gone. They're already gone. I am now, this is currently my most familiar area. Why do you not go to the center to get those weapons? Is that a trap? No, weapons? Yeah, there are weapons in there. Look. Uh, no, there oh, are they're, dead they're bodies here. Oh, they, they look like guns. <laughs> Maybe that's... Yeah, the sniper rifle doesn't uh, doesn't exist quite yet, so... Maybe that's my problem. I keep, I keep seeing guns, but they're actually just dead bodies of people who I killed with the guns that I thought I was trying to get the bodies they turn into because they weren't guns that I had used to kill them. <laughs> Grab the jump boots. There. <laughs> you needed, You had to jettison yourself just to get up there? Well, no. There's The real reason why they give you the jump boots is because on top of this area there's a super health that I just saw. I didn't see it while I was playing, though, or while I was recording. Ah. Huh. See, that, that's where it would have been advantageous to have recorded, like, you know, piece by piece, like like how I do, because then you can, you can take the time to discuss things that we miss. Make it all meta and shit. Okay, now our save point is right on this damn catwalk. Okay. We shouldn't have to re re replay through this part again. It will still feel like a replay because you're on the same catwalk that we've seen repeatedly, but that's okay. I'm all right. Don't nobody worry about me. ASMD core and is now ready. the Scar Mercenaries decide to not show it, show up in here. What the hell? You gotta die! Ooh. Oh, now they're here. I waited for like almost a full minute for you guys to show up, and you didn't. No, they were just. Oh my god. Oh, I opened up the console. You can open up the console by pressing the tilde key on your keyboard. It's one thing to be obscured by shadow. It's another thing to be obscured by the console list. Bunks. We're in the barracks. Mm, well, crew quarters, but yeah. No, I mean, what, what does the narrative say this ship was? A freighter or, like, a deployment vehicle? Uh, honestly, this was, a, this was a science vessel. All crew members report to deck four. I guess everybody reported to deck four. 
Uh, no, not everyone. A good, por a good portion of the persons that re reported to Deck 4 got killed by the initial wave of Scar that came Yay. Out. They were routed. They... But the reason why is that they only had access to Stingers, and Stingers don't do so well against Scar. They all, they even took the time to take their bed sheets with them. No, they don't have bed sheets. Bed sheets is like a 2002 plus game. All right. This is 98. We don't have bed sheets. <laughs> we slept on rocks. And we enjoyed and it. And we damn enjoyed it. it. Those were the best, most comfortable rocks ever. We were roughing it. What were you doing, you pussy? <laughs> Go away. Up. Mm, the observation. Line. The lounge. Are there gonna be chairs? No, because it's flooded. There are chairs in here. On your left, that that looked like a bench. It's, it's no, that's a stairway. It's not a bench. It's a banister. Fuck. I do. I, I keep saying that I love the environments in this game, but I love the environments in this game, Cloud. Except the water. Uh, sound no, effect. even the water is actually pretty nice. Over. Cool and cool and overflow. Cool and overflow. Shaky camera. Drugs. Mm, yeah, because. Mm, all right. Hit the button. That was a button. Yes, that was a button. Into the cool and we Hit go. Hit the other button. Did you Iridium shards, we're full on those. Did you know that there are computer coolant systems that use liquids instead of fans? Yes. They are cool. Literally. Uh sure. Uh-huh. <laughs> God damn it, shake your camera. Well, the shaky camera is because the ship is actively exploding. Oh, it's just exploding very slowly. Mm, well, not really that slowly. More mercenaries. More enemies. Die. Lower your shields, coward. No, my shield is nice. Ah, it's the More scar. it's the captain. He had to turn around from the steering wheel. Bastard. You have pushed buttons. Yes. I have pushed buttons in order to gain access to this transporter. Which will take us to Step onto octagonal platform. Behold Spire Village, and in the next part we will traverse through Spire Village. Yay!